Hey, yo, hello. Hey, yo, my Gs. Uh, welcome to my presentation. For me, it's a pleasure to stay here. I'm so happy to share that research. So I'm going to show how I discovered that I can unlock those avocados in my country. So the principal topic is breaking learning codes. Please uh, get up your hands if someone knows about learning codes, how to hack learning codes. Two, two people. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to, right now I'm going to show uh, my, so who I am, my official work is a penetration tester. Uh, what I say that because in my, in South America, you don't, you know, we don't have automotive cybersecurity uh, companies. So I do the research alone because I learn car hacking alone. So in my free time, I uh, do hardware security uh, research, okay? Um, I create a uh, reverse everything a YouTube channel where I upload uh, all my research. So um, I am 28 years old from Ecuador, you know, we don't have anything about car hacking security, nothing about that. So I do alone. Um, I'm going to show about introduction, about learning codes. Uh, after that, the hardware hacking. After that, I'm going to uh, learn to how to set a backdoor in the KLS entry system. After that, collision problems uh, that appears with the use if you use learning codes. And after that, I'm going to show the auto RF killer is the tool that I developed to unlock cars with fixed code, learn this code, learning code, and rolling code using the no attacks. So. Uh, I was trying to find um, Kang injection. So when I connect my OBD port to the interface, OBD2, I find uh, the Kang ID 545 is the ID that appears when you unlock or lock the car with the KFOP uh, control, okay? So I say, hey, uh, let's go to uh, do a deep research about the KLS entry system, the radio frequency system. So here we have a universal radio hacker. I record the signal. This is the signal to unlock the car. And after that, I proceed to demodulate the signal. The signal is in 370 megahertz. Uh, I demodulate with ASK modulation. And I use a symbol per second of 500. Okay, so if you see, we have the unlock uh, signal to and um, after that the lock signal after that unlock signal again and if we if we see we have the first row is a fixed code the second row is the same fixed code so i say hey what the hell is that this isn't really code okay so i say i need to do a deep uh, a deeper research about that so the unlock signal in uh, in hexadecimal format uh, the previously slide is in bit format in hexadecimal format is that signal. So what happened uh, if, if you you see that there is a fixed code that uh, repeat many times and the lock signal is very similar to the unlock signal. So just the three last hexadecimal digits change. Okay, so I say, hey, let's go to verify the replay attack. So this is a fixed code and right now I am in the fifth floor and in abandoned building and the car is in the first floor. So this is the first time that I was able to unlock uh, my car. So let's go to listen the song when the car is unlocked. So with Universal Radio Hacker, I send the, the signal. Um, after that, uh, I send the signal to lock the curb. So I don't know if you uh, listen, but uh, from here I listen. So I verify with that uh, replay attack that my car use uh, uh, something like fixed code. So I disassembled the KFOF and I found a learning code chip. The learning code chip is HS2240. Uh, if you find uh, that in internet, you are going to find that this is a learning code chip. So what the hell is learning code? Learning code is similar to fixed code. The difference is in the programmation mode. In fixed code, you have a soldered, uh, you have the code soldered to the board in the K4, okay? But in learning code, you have the pin 
into the integrated circuit. So uh, another difference is that when you are going to program uh, in fixed code, you uh, don't have to do a programmation in learning code. You have the teacher that is the KFOP that learn the learning code to the microcontroller uh, receiver. So when the microcontroller receiver, a uh, receiver uh, listen the code through the antenna, a microcontroller save that code in his memory and is able to uh, save up to four different learning codes. So keep it in mind because uh, this is a uh, useful information to set a backdoor in in few in a few minutes in the other slides. So this is a learning code. Uh, each K fob has a different learning uh, code. Okay, each K fob and each car has a different learning code and. Each K4 has a different learning code, okay? So keep in mind. So let's go to the hardware hacking. Uh, if you disassemble that the that your the vulnerable K4, we found we found a oscillator LR370 megahertz uh, batteries that we zoom two batteries. We have 6.38 volts is important to do mathematics calculation to the brute force attack that I am going to do in few slides. After that, we identify the ASK modulation. Remember that uh, we have to do a modulation to set to the LED RF transmit. So the final signal is sending to the LED RF transmit and also, we have here a multimeter to, to check. So let's go to the burn the circuit. Uh, we have four inputs. Uh, remember that the k fob have a, has four uh, buttons. So each button uh, is translated to one. For example, if I press a uh, one button of the four buttons, I have one zero zero zero. If I press the second button, I have zero one zero zero. And each uh, signal pass through a pull down resistor. So after the pull down resistor, uh, enter to the integrated circuit. Okay, so we have four entries, key, K0, key one, key two, I can three, and the output is through the pin number three. So the learning code encoded, uh, exit through the pin number three. And in the left, we have the ASK modulation with capacitors, resistor, inductors, um, and more. So the final modulator learning code encoded uh, go out by the LED. So keep in mind because we have four modes. So how to the learning code is formatted is like the frame. The, the frame is a preamble. After that, we have 20 bits code. After that, we have uh, four bits of the mode. Remember, each mode is a bottom. So in 20 bits, we have one million possibility codes. So two to power 20 bits, we have one million possibility code, okay? And in mode, we have four bits. So uh, here we have the different modes that we can, uh, the, the, the are able to enter to the integrated circuit. Okay, so the preamble, here we have the bits of the learning code, 20 bits of learning code, four bits more. So the preamble is, I get 96 bits, so 96 uh, subtract 20 bits of the learning code, subtracts 40 bits of the more, we have 72 bits preamble, okay? And here we have 96 bits, but uh, 72 bits of preamble, I don't know, sure. So uh, that's the reason that I do a hardware hacking with a logic analyzer is this is logic analyzer LA5016 that is able to record up to 500 uh, megahertz. So here's the connection. Channel one is to the transmit pin, the pin number three, ground to ground, and channel two into the H input uh, system, for example, K0, K1, K2, and K3, and a uh, voltmeter to check the 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 voltage uh, pin, okay? So what we get when we do, do that, for example, if we press the bottom, uh, the first bottom, the K0, we have that signal in the transmit pin. This is the learning code that this is, uh, that repeat 25 times. And after that, we have the preamble of the next signal. So when we press the button, we have the pulse in the channel uh, one. So the duration of the pulse is the duration that we press the button. So if we press the button one hour, we have one hour of learning codes, the same learning code. You understand me? So uh, the same with K1, the same with K2, that is the button to unlock the car. The same with the K3, that is the button to lock the car. So if we zoom, uh, what we have, we are, for example, here is the learning code. 
here is the learning code one two three four and more learning code if we do a zoom to the learning code we have a pulse uh zero a pulse a a more um, with more duration and a zero with less duration so i say hey what that means if i uh, get in when i get when i record the signal with a uh, hack rf i say i have i get one zero one zero but how i translate that to one zero one zero because here i have a pulse that is a uh, longer than that pulse okay and here i have a zero that is longer than that zero so i say hey this is encoder so this is encoder so uh, after reversing the encodification, after read a lot of data sheets, I achieved to discover the encoded to the learning code. So I get the learning code with a logic and the larger. So uh, the integrated chip sent a, a zero with four bits and sent a one bit with four four bits. So for example, if the integrated code want to send zero, he uh, sent one zero zero zero. And the, if the integrated circuit uh, want to send one bit, uh, the one bit is sent to one, 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 zero. So for example, here we have one, zero, uh, three zeros. And also we have here one, 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 zero. So here we have a one and here we have a zero. So after that, the preamble is a constant. The preamble, the preamble is a constant of, of the one bit and 31 zeros. So that's the reason that we, when we get uh, that signal with logic analyzer, we have here the preamble, one bit and 31 zeros. And after that here, for example, we have zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, and so. And the mode also is encoded with that codification. We have here uh, one, zero, 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 okay? So after that, we have all the information to encode or decode any signal. So how I verify that, I remember that and 96 bits so if we multiply 20 bits by 4 bits and plus 4 uh, bits by by 4 bits of the mode we have 96 bits so this is the reason that at the start of the presentation we have recorded 96 bits okay so uh, and after that we have the preamble of the next frame of the next learning code so what i do that because uh, I see a data sheets that save me uh, bad information, a fake information for use for us like uh, hackers. For example, there are another vulnerable radio frequency chips. For example, there are also the HS1527, 2024, uh, the HS2241 and more, the HTCP20D, the HTCP20B and more. So if we, if you read the data sheet, the data sheet say something like, Hey, it can reduce any code collision and authorized code scanning possibilities. So, hey, are you sure we are going to probe the opposite because I uh, discovered the encodification, the encodification and more. So I built a genuine radio block uh, that do a brute force attack. This is uh, the, the brain of the attack is that block that I built. And this is ASK modulation. We have here a repeating interpolation to better the signal. Uh, here, have, here we have the carrier signal multiply. We have the modulated signal and a throttle to uh, maintain to the, the sample rate. Okay, and after that we um, send that to the Osmo Comsyn that is compatible with our hack RF. Okay, so let's go to see uh, how I. I am able to unlock uh, the car with my uh, genuine radio brute force attack. So the car right now is locked. I run <clears throat> my genuine radio script. And right now the car is unlocked. So simple. The brute force is customizable. You can perform, a, you can set a parameters. For example, the delay between each signal. And after that, I create AutoRF Killer is the tool that I developed to unlock uh, whatever card that you use learning code, fixed core, or uh, rolling code with you, you know roll jam attacks. So let's go to uh, let's go to the city to unlock hundreds of vulnerable cards. So here we have the the real gangster hacker. This is a, a pet black hacker. Don't trust in my pet, please. <laughs> so uh, here. Uh, I show about the how 
I perform in a, in a Kia Soluto. Okay, so right now I I am a room the brute force attacks. I remember that did brute force attack a take a one minute, I guess, and in one minute the my script was able to unlock the car. So okay, remember each car has a different um, learning code, and each car is able to save up to four different learning codes. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to check the car is locked, and after run my script, uh, let me let me. I right now the script is running, and let me. And let's go to wait. And in a few minutes, the car will be unlocked. Uh, you know, each signal is sent through uh, each 30 milliseconds. But you can perf you can set uh, that parameter through, I don't know, 60 milliseconds. If you have more interference, you have to, you are able to send a, with a more delayed, OK? Right now, we have a Kia Rio. So it's the same attack, uh, the same attack. So uh, uh, the carrier was, I was able to unlock the car with two different learning calls. Remember, each car had uh, between two learning calls up to four diff uh, learning calls. So let's go to let's go to see quickly. So we check the car is locked. And after I run the my script, I am able to unlock the car. And right now the car is locked. Okay, and final uh, with another Renault X. I don't know. Uh, remember, uh, there is a possibility that you go to um, a car car keyless entry system. I and there are a possibility that your car the the car dealership install you a vulnerable keyless entry system with learning code uh, so i guess that in renault i don't um, see the model i guess that this is the case okay and um, also there are vulnerable cars like kia picanto and more cars in ecuador so i'm from ecuador i forget say that i guess So this is a real attacks in the in the streets. Um, right now I am I unlock the car. So let's go to the next part. Uh, let's go to the setting backdoor in Kayla's entry system. Remember that uh, how we know that the, uh, a malicious actor don't uh, send a backdoor into our Kayla's entry system. We don't know. So. There are a there are high probability because uh, uh, in Latin America, in South America, there are uh, something like universal case. Universal case there is a uh, fogging because just is a K fob of the the, the malicious actor uh, set into the keyless entry system of many cars. So this is where it's rolling code. So a uh, one K unlock n cars. Because previously the car wo uh, was backdoory, backdoory, backdoorized. Okay, so let's go to backdoorize a keyless entry system. For that, we have the receiver microcontroller with STM8, the horn, the voltage source to power on the, the circuit. Um, we don't have sound, but don't worry. Uh, right now, I am. Uh, uh, also, uh, we have the Hack Air F, my SD device, and also the Auto RF Killer that I create to create a custom signal to create the backdoor. And uh, basically, I put in programmation mode the keyless entry system. We connect ignition to the voltage and press a button six times. So this is how to backdoorize the keyless entry system. So. After the keyless entry system is in programmation, a learning code programmation mode, I send uh, whatever signal, whatever signal, 
uh, for example, I put, for example, one zero zero one zero zero one or zero zero one, whatever, or zero 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 one. So this is the backdoor code. So right now I use my tool. I put the backdoor code right now. And after that, uh, the, the receiver will save that in his memory. So uh, right now I connect ignition to the voltage to put in programmation mode, the ARM uh, sounds. And after that, I send the backdoor code. And finally, I exit programmation mode. And after that, I am able to unlock the car with my backdoor code, OK? So basically, I call, I am able to unlock that car with my hack RF. So right now, I'm going to send the signal. I am going to unlock the system with uh, the hack RF. So let's go to send the signal with the hack RF. Um, I lock the system, lock the system. And if you sound, if you listen, uh, I, I, I know that you don't listen right now, but trust me, the system uh, sounds, so the system is unlocked with the backdoor. OK. Uh, there are also a collision problem. What means the collision problem? Uh, the most integrated chip learning code use the same two to power 20 bits. So the most integrated circuit chips learning code uh, have one million possibility codes. So what I mean, uh, for example, if we take the AB1527 uh, chip, uh, there are high probability that that chip have the same learning code that have the another chip that use the same range. For example, the HS2240, HS2241, and more. Why I say that? Because just in my country alone, there are a tons of cars that use that keyless entry system, vulnerable keyless entry system. So uh, if we join all the cars in one place that uh, all, all, all of the cars of the world in one place that use the uh, learning codes, there are a high probability that uh, if I take a random KFOP and press the button, the, there are another cars that will unlock or, uh, or lock. And what I say that because there will come a time where the million codes will be filed all over the world and will be a collision and no one uh, will figure it out. Or maybe uh, this fiber uh, find out, excuse me, and maybe or maybe uh, this fiber has already been reached. So that question I put you in your mind. So for example, uh, my K fob called uh, unlock my car, or I unlock uh, a garage door in United States because that uh, learning codes also are using in garage door and, and radio frequency devices protection. So. Finally, I'm going to exploit everything. This is a tool with 1,300 uh, 1, uh, Python lines code. So the first feature is to brute force learning codes with our database. I created a database that have all codification of the integrated uh, learning code chips. So also, you can discover in backdoor codes in your car running that brute force attack. So for example, if you run and your car was unlocked by another learning code, your car is backdoorized. Another is the brute force attack with arbitrary parameters. For example, if you uh, find another, um, if you want to run your chip with uh, custom parameters, you also are able to run that. You also create a backdoor custom code or signal, and also you are able to perform a replay attack. And finally, a roll jam attack. By to do that, you need two SDR devices to unlock cards with rolling code. So finally, let's go to see. Let's go to see the tool. So I entered the integrated uh, chip name. And so the program 
send me the information about that integrated chip so we don't have anything more that put the radio frequency whatever frequency for example in this case 350 and the brute force attack is performing so we need to wait and nothing more um also here we have a <clears throat> We perform, uh, perform, um, we execute a perform brute force attack with 22 bits, not just 20 bits. So you can set whatever number of bits. Okay, you um, enter the uh, start number to brute force attack and the end number to finish the brute force attack, the delays and more. And after that, I execute <clears throat> the option number four to send a jamming a signal. So you also can use that tool to create a uh, jamming signals in whatever frequency and you set the duration of the jamming. Okay. And finally, 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 also we can choose the option number three to record and replay a radio frequency signal to discover you, your car is vulnerable to fixed code or learning codes, okay? So you uh, set the frequency, you need my script and also the hack RF and nothing more. So you record in 10 seconds um, the signal and immediately in 10 seconds your signal is, is replied again. And And final, set a backdoor into the Keyless entry system. You set the frequency and you uh, put the, the bits, for example, 110 or whatever. So the script create the modulation, do everything. So you just need to put the bits and nothing more. So thank you so much. This was breaking learning codes in my country. Thank you so much. <laughs>